Hi, my name is Cecil White. I work in training and development with the talent and organizational development team. And um, I have a background in hospitality, a degree in hospitality, so I applied to work at Biltmore and start at the winery in 2007. And then from there I've made my way literally up the eel to the inn on Dotmore Estate where I worked as a front desk agent and then a front desk supervisor for four years. And then my uh, manager at the time um, recognized that I had skills in training and really encouraged me to develop that. And then our department had an opening in HR that I was interested in after four years, so I was ready for a change. Um, I applied for it knowing that I may not necessarily get it, but I wanted to put my foot in the door and be like, hey, I'm interested. I did not get the position, however, my manager and my, um, or vice president actually, recommended me for another position in HR that was opening up, and that was the training coordinator position. So I've been in there for two years and really enjoying it. My job entitles coordinating and organizing a lot of classes that we do anywhere from orientations to new hires to supervisors, managers, and long-term employees. I contact the employees, I get in touch with them, I make sure to sign them up for classes, make sure the classes are set up, and then I follow up with uh, rating grades if that's appropriate, making sure that they have everything they need. And I'm, I feel very lucky that the departments that I've been in have encouraged me to grow, personally and professionally. I'm constantly given a chance to look at what's next. How can I better myself? How can I become a better professional in what I'm in? I mean, if you had told me nine years ago I would land in HR, I would have been laughing. I'm like, um, I don't think I'm fit for that. But I've learned the skills along the way and I continue to have the chance to develop that and to be encouraged to take certifications and to learn more and go to workshop and go to conferences and learn more and be better at it. So I want to say thank you to the first person who trained me because he told me, um, if you ever have the opportunity to do something different, say yes. And I took that advice to heart. And when I see where it's taken me through the years, I'm very thankful for it.